Welcome back to Camping Gear TV. I'm Josh. This is Ben. Today we're talking about another backpack. It's from Jansport, right? It's the greatest backpack known to man. Oh, oh shoot. All right. I don't know if that's true, but it's, but it's actually a good backpack. Real quick, we, we actually got a couple backpacks from Jansport. Yeah. So we're taking a look at, at one today, and we're going to take a look at uh, some others that are more like connected to each other later. Oh. Uh, but this backpack is part... Jamsport, if you go to their website, they have a yeah. couple different sections saying like what type of packs they have, you know, what kind of category it's under. And so um, this is in their day pack section, but it's also in their backpack section, I believe. So oh. there's a lot of uses for this backpack. I mean, is I, it in I, their night pack section? No, no, just not, day. Just day. Okay. And I think if you're the type of person, you know, maybe you still go to school, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you're fortunate enough to have a job where you don't carry a briefcase into the office and you want a bag that doubles as, you know, a good, right. you know, work or school pack, but also you can use for, you know, outdoor day yeah. packing type deal. Absolutely. This pack would be one of the packs for you. This is yeah. the Agave pack Very by, nice. of course, Jan Sport. Very nice. And uh, the color for this is Boulder Blue. It's a nice color. I think the blue complements the gray mm -hmm. quite nicely. Right. Yep. Um, it matches my eyes. Actually, it doesn't. I no. just I just said that. Yeah. Yeah. But um, actually, actually, is a nice backpack, and it does have a lot of features. It kind of helps it double in these uh, areas. So we'll get into this and take a look at it. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll start with the with the straps here. Again, mm -hmm. if you if you look on the site, mm -hmm. Jansport has a couple different types of straps that they put on their bags. You know, their own technology that they have come up with to you know make some more stronger, efficient, comfortable straps. Okay, these are, if I may, look off my cheat sheet. You may. Unbound edge air core shoulder straps and the air core is engineered with ergonomically contoured extra thick EVA foam. Oh, I know. Woo! For superior padding and comfort. And I didn't think about this until later on. Feel these straps. <clears throat> these right here? No, no, no. The main bit. Yeah. I and mean, they're pretty thick. They're also real sturdy. Yeah. So, yeah. um,. And uh, breathable mesh back straps for air circulation, mm -hmm. universal S curve fit. So here they've engineered these straps so you can see the strap isn't straight down, it curves so it fits yeah. better contour to your body. I like that. Yeah, so kind of nice. Mm -hmm. This pack has two main compartments for storage. Right. You can see two big compartments there. Right. Has some ice axe loops. So I mean, you know, it has some features yeah. that can you can carry some serious stuff in the outdoors. Yeah. Um, yeah. So a nice day pack. A versatile sleeve, yeah. which is in this main compartment, which is designed to fit a three-liter hydration bladder or a 15-inch laptop. So again, covering both aspects of the outdoor mm -hmm. and urban type use. That's nice. Front utility pocket with organizer, which is yeah. uh, this bit in here, which, you know, again, if you have some more business-related materials or even some smaller outdoor tools, you can keep there. Cool. Uh, easy access V loft pocket. So it's kind of got yeah. this zipper that's at an angle here. So, you know, you can have some uh, quick handy things to go in there. What kind of things do you, would you put in there? Well, I might put things like papers or folders Papers or folders? I could, but I may also put things in there like DVDs or flashlights, oh. like candy, maybe. Hmm. What about canned corn? No, I, there's another spot for that. What if it was canned cream corn? Still another spot for that. Oh, okay. Most likely the canned corn I would carry in one of these dual side mesh okay. yeah. pouches that you can use to carry canned corn or water bottles. Okay, I've heard of those before. Right. So. Yeah. Kind of nice. Uh, let's see here. Side compression straps. So hopefully you can catch mm -hmm. these here, which, you know, depending on how tight or loose you pack your pack, you can tighten it so it, you get a tighter fit to your body so your bag's yeah. not like hanging off the back of your back. Uh, and then it's got this uh, daisy chain loop system on the front, which maybe you can use to put some stuff in or, uh, you know, you clip something with a carabiner or something, you know, that you can mm -hmm. just use to hook stuff to your bag. That's real nice. Yep, pretty good. This is a 32 liter backpack, 
So I, I think it's a, a little larger than a regular backpack. You can yeah. get a lot of good stuff in here. And matter of fact, if you want to know what you can fit in there, on Jansport's site, they always make sure they provide a little list of like what you can expect to fit in there. Very and, nice. And there, what they say you can fit in here is change of clothes, warm layer of clothing, towel, water bottles, hydration reserve, food wow. and snacks for the trail, headlamp, sunblock, insect repellent, camera, cell phone, and an MP3 player. Holy crap. All in one bag. They didn't mention canned corn. No, they but... didn't, but you certainly can see that you could get right. a can of corn here in the side mesh right. pouch if that's one of your deals. So if that's something you're into, yeah. you know, some campers we've seen are just really passionate about canned corn and this would be a bag that would help yeah. you take your canned corn with you, again, outdoors or maybe possibly to work for lunch, right. you know, way to carry it all in one, one shot. So uh, I, I like it because it's big enough to take on a, a nice day hike, mm -hmm. you know, so if you're camping and you're going to go off for the day and uh, go on like a nice trail. Um, it's the right size, it's not too big, and then you can also just use it for everyday uses. I've been using this a lot for everyday use, and it's got enough pouches where I can fit all my yeah. books, papers, things like that, but I have taken it out a couple times on some small day hikes, yeah. and you know, it fits what, you know, I can fit clothing, uh, I can fit food in here, right. and it, it's, you know, really, really sturdy, real comfortable carry. I actually really like it. Yeah, you know, I think it's important to note that it has the, the strap that goes around your waist. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. There. Yeah, because it's so it's not as heavy duty of a strap as yeah, what's on it's, like a, a full backpack. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. But that one of the reasons that we were talking to Jansport and taking a look at a bag like this is the majority of the bags we've looked at before mm -hmm. all have hip belts. Right. This one does not. Yeah. But just in case you're on a day hike and you do have it loaded to the brim, you have this little strap here. Take some of the pressure off. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So you nice. Know, but uh, it's not a serious like hip belt mm -hmm. that you'd see on a, a full size pack. Right. So pretty nice. Uh, this pack uh, I remember this time. Uh, this pack runs about fifty dollars. Okay. I saw it at some places for forty ish, some places okay. for sixty ish. But nine times out of ten, you can get it for fifty dollars. A good price for this pack. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, which I think you're going to get a ton of use out of something like this if. You know, mm -hmm. you, you are looking for a bag that can, you know, transition you to the outdoors right. and then, you know, your uh, everyday use works mm -hmm. really, really well. Super, super backpack from Jansport. The, nice. the Agave, and uh, you can see their little logo in front, Agave yeah. 32. 32 is in reference, again, to the leader size of the pack. Sweet. Yep, so really, really good pack. Check us out later. We're going to be taking a look at an upcoming episode of two other backpacks from Jansport, part of their Cloud Ripper series, I believe, mm. and that's uh, some more packs that are just geared specifically to outdoor day pack use, some smaller cool. packs, so some really good stuff. So thanks again to Jansport for hooking us up, really, really great pack. I'm Ben, this is Josh, and we're CampingGearTV.com. See you at the bar. Welcome back to Camping Gear TV. I'm Josh. This is Ben. Today we're talking about another backpack. It's from Jansport, right? It's the greatest backpack known to man. Oh, oh shoot. All right. I don't know if that's true, but it's, but it's actually a good backpack. Real quick, we, we actually got a couple backpacks from Jansport. Yeah. So we're taking a look at, at one today, and we're going to take a look at uh, some others that are more like connected to each other later. Oh. Uh, but this backpack is part... Jansport, if you go to their website, they have a yeah. couple different sections saying like what type of packs they have, you know, what kind of category it's under. And so um, this is in their day pack section, but it's also in their backpack section, I believe. So oh. 